Body Share Report, we live here with the legend, the real St. Pete legend, Wicked Wright. Sir, how you doing today, man? I'm good, man. You know, just out here supporting my man Clarence, so I'm going to go out here and get a great feet and get ready for the big fights. Now, sir, champ, okay. it's an honor, man. Listen, a lot of us grew up watching you. You paid way for a lot of guys. You're you making, you making me sound old, dog. <laughs> Come on, now. You got guys like Andre Berto, Brian Perella. Hot Rod, you got Clarence Booty here tonight. Wilkie Camford, the list goes on and on. You pay away for Florida fighters. Do you see us making an impact on the sport, champ? Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, they can't deny the Florida fighters. You know, you got Keith Thurman right now, wrecking the welterweight division. Like you said, you got Bert, Andre Berto. So, you know, we, we doing our thing. Somebody just had to open that door. You know, we had Roy Jones. I came out to Roy. Then we got Tarver. Lazy, so you know it, it's here. We just got to get out there and experience and, and represent Florida, you know, and that's what I did. Now, champ, now that you retired from the game as one of the legends, what do you do in your spare time? I mean, what's a, what's a basic day life when you get right? Man, I wake up, man, and play golf every day, man. I just enjoy life. My kids, you know, the time I couldn't really hang with them when I was training, I can do that now and then. Uh, I'm just doing that, man, enjoying life. That's all. Now, champ, who was probably your toughest fight? You was in some wars. You beat a lot of, a lot of yeah. legends. You yeah. been in some epic fights, man. That I grew up watching. Out of all the guys you was in that square with, though, who was probably your toughest guy? My toughest fight probably was against Julio Cesar Vasquez. My first title fight, just because I kept slipping and sliding, I couldn't get no balance. But I had to show that I was tough and I wasn't gonna quit. And I was over there in his country fighting him. And uh, like I said, I still thought I win, but won. But he won, and you know, it led to greater things for me. It gave me that drive and that hunger to to become the undisputed champion of the junior middleweight division. And I did that. Now, before we let you out here, champ, a lot of people don't know this, but. You didn't have the easy road coming up. Oh no! You man. fought a lot of fights overseas. Matter of fact, you were probably one of the most avoided fighters coming up in your generation. So, if there's a jewel you could drop on these young fighters today coming up, that feel like things come overnight because they see what happens on sports and they see what Floyd Mayweather, what Floyd Mayweather has done after the fact. What can you tell these guys to, 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 to drop some jewels on? Like you said, nothing, nothing worth having comes easy. You know what I mean? Uh, people see Floyd Mayweather now. But I remember when I was champion, Floyd Mayweather was champion and he couldn't sell out the MGM. You know, when he fought, they would give away tickets. And when we fought, there wasn't no tickets left. So it just, he stayed in the game. He, 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 he a bad boy, you know, he stayed in the game. He went, he kept winning. And now, you know, he making all the money in the world. And congratulate him, he deserve it because he's steady winning. So, you know, if you just put in that hard work and keep fighting, man, whatever you want, you can get. Spoke like a real Florida boy. I definitely appreciate it, champ. But listen, enjoy the fights, man. We thank you for your time. Appreciate it, baby. DC, one time, two home.